Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this video, we'll be going over how to create product collections on Redbubble. Product collections are a great way to organize the products in your shop. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. So let's go over the entire process to create your product collection. To get started, let's look up top and click on the account tab. From the drop down menu, let's go down and select manage portfolio. Here's where you can manage all of your works, your collections, and your journals. From the works tab, you can see all of the designs that you've uploaded. Once you've created product collections, you'll be able to view those collections by clicking the collections tab. As you can see, I currently don't have any collections, so let's go back over to the works tab and create one now. For this example, let's create a collection for these first five designs. Start by selecting all the designs that you want to add to your collection by clicking the check boxes in the top left. You'll notice a new toolbar appear with several options for you to edit your designs. Since we're creating a new product collection, let's go over to the toolbar and click on Collections. From the drop-down menu, you can click on the text field and type in a name for your collection. I think I'll name my collection Martial Arts Designs. Once you've selected a name, go ahead and click on the plus sign here. We can now add our products to our new collection. Let's click the name that we just created, then click the Add button to add our selected products. And voila! Five works have been successfully added to martial arts designs. So now let's go back up to the collections tab to view and edit our new product collection. So here's the martial arts designs collection that I just created. Now let's edit this collection by adding a description and by selecting a cover image. To edit your collection, look up at the top right and click on the settings icon. From the drop down menu, go ahead and click on edit. From here, you can update your title add a description, or change the cover image for your collection. Let's start by adding a description. Your description should describe the type of designs in this collection, and you should also add relevant keywords and phrases to help increase your search rankings. Once you've written your description, go ahead and click on the red Update Collection button. Your new description has now been added to your product collection. So now let's update your collection cover. If we scroll down, you can see that my current collection cover is the Muay Thai Lifestyle Fighter Boxer design. So as an example, let's change my cover to the Kung Fu Lifestyle design. To do this, let's go up to the top right of the design, click the Settings button, then click on Set as Collection Cover from the drop-down menu. There we go. As you can see, the Kung Fu Lifestyle Shaolin Monk design has now been set as my collection cover. So now that we've created a new collection, added our title and description, and selected our cover image, let's head over to my shop and check out my new martial arts designs collection. From your Redbubble shop homepage, your collections can be viewed near the top, right below your shop banner image. So here's my martial arts designs collection with the cover image that we just selected. When customers click on your collection, they'll be able to see your collection description and view all of the designs that you've added to your collection. If you create designs for multiple niches or topics, creating multiple product collections for each niche would be a great way to group them together. Customers would be able to see all of your designs for that particular niche in that one collection and would be able to easily find and select the product that they wish to purchase. So that's a quick overview of how to create product collections on Redbubble. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next tutorial.